Hey guys, so I just decided to do a little mini grocery haul for you guys. Um, to be honest, I did not have a list when I went to the store and I just got a bunch of random stuff. So that's a six pack of eggs. I don't buy a regular pack because I can't go through them without wasting them. Strawberries and this protein waffle pancake mix that I love. It's too expensive, but uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Some almond milk, which I love almond milk. I don't actually get regular milk because it gives me tummy troubles. Epic pork rinds, which is just kind of like my chip alternative of choice right now, because um, I am a chip fiend. Um, and then these Quest chips. Um, I like these two flavors. Um, they're like spicy. Um, and yeah, they give me that real good like chip feeling um, so I don't go crazy over some sour cream and onion chips or something like that. Um, and then we have this frozen dinner, which I don't know nothing about. Uh, it was on sale, so your girl just grabbed it. Hopefully it's good. Um, it'd be nice, um, for a night when I don't feel like cooking. Um, and these are my favorite Outshine popsicles. I like the big pack with the three flavors because it lasts the longest. Um, and it's like a little, little sweet treat and it's not too high in calories. Okay, um, some not so fun things. That Glade spray is like really good and effective. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, what's next, what's next? These cashew milk yogurt drinks um, are very tasty. They're not really high in sugar like most yogurts. Um, and I can't handle all forms of dairy. So I find that this is like perfect for my little digestive system. And they also look really cute. I'm a package, yeah, I'm a packaging girly. I'm like, the packaging gets me every time. Um, what's next? Oh, so these Olipop slash like poppy drinks, um, I find those to be very tasty when I want something other than water, but I don't want to like drink all the soda and the juice. Um, and so I just get a couple of those every once in a while uh, when I just need a little something, something. That's just deodorant, not anything fun. Nothing to write home about, but I think that's it. And I spent like $63, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I do love that Montana doesn't have sales tax. I feel like I save a lot with that, but yeah, that's basically it. All right, so I didn't actually plan on talking to you guys right now. I just thought I was gonna film this little mini grocery haul. But just wanna say, hey, um, it is literally 1.42 in the morning and I can't believe it's that late. Um, also, hey, welcome to my channel or welcome back. It's Bria. How's it going? Um, yeah, no, it's quite literally 1.42 in the morning. Or it's 1.43 now that I finally got my camera to focus. Yeah, it's 1.43 in the morning. And I just came from the grocery store after leaving work at like midnight. So that's that. I have not had enough water today, which is terrible. So today is technically Saturday morning, Friday slash Saturday now. But yeah, I'm just saying, hey, oh, I got some dishes to clean up. Just saying, hey, um, I'll see you guys later. I have to clean up and then go to bed. Oh, water, I've not had enough water today. Okay, so, okay, hey, I ain't got much time to fool around with you guys today. I'm about to be super late. My cup is not even clean, is it? I'm about to be super late for work. Um, it is literally the next day, and I slept in literally as long as I possibly could. And technically, in order to leave for work and be on time, I need to leave in like the next 15, 20 minutes. I just fuck up. So I am about to just make a protein drink right now. My sister clued me into this protein uh, powder. And I'm about to put it in my Starbucks cup and that's going to be breakfast because I ain't got time for anything else. So I'm going to talk about it more 
um, tomorrow when I've got more time. But I did have an interview yesterday. This is my new Starbucks cup, by the way. I actually am getting a lot of use out of it. It's really cute. Um, so I had an interview, not yesterday, I'm lying, Thursday. And I got really excited about it. And I did really, really well during the interview. But I knew something was up because at the end of the interview, she was like, yeah, I think you're a really good candidate for the the, the company. Like, um, But like, would you be open to any other position since I do have a lot of, you know, um, candidates and I might not be able to decide until for another two weeks. And I was kind of taken aback that she was already saying basically like, would you be interested in any other positions or something like that? And I mean, I knew I was like, in my mind, I'm like, well, she could just be saying that like, you know, just in case, but it kind of like, was like, okay. And because I'm a manager, I know that sometimes stuff happens. And so like, Again, she said that she wouldn't be able, she probably wouldn't be able to decide for another two weeks. But I was like, two weeks is a long time. Like, why is it taking you that long to decide? And so, you know, I told her, I was like, yeah, you know, like I would be interested in a, in a position similar to the one, you know, I'm um, interviewing for, but yeah, just like keep me in mind and let me know. Again, this was a really like awesome, objectively, this was an awesome interview. And so literally like maybe an hour later, she emails me basically saying that she went with another candidate and or candidate or whatever, and that she was passing my information on to another property that also needs an operations manager. And, you know, I knew in that instance why she said what she said. And it's because I know enough now as a manager to know she had, she likely had an internal candidate that she either was a push to hire from people above her or B in between the time that she, um, what was in the time, in between the time that she scheduled my interview and our actual interview, somebody else, an intern, again, an internal candidate, uh, like applied and they went with them instead Something happened there with an internal candidate is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, I'm not, I wasn't like really mad about it because at the end of the day, I wasn't really mad about it because at the end of the day, like the, the manager from, I'm just trying to mix up this drink. Um, at the end of the day, the manager from the other property reached out to me like immediately and I have another interview scheduled with her tomorrow. But again, I was kind of upset because I'd done such a good job in that interview. And I definitely haven't always nailed my interviews in the past. And so it just feels like that interview, like I feel two ways about that. Like number one, like I know how stuff happens and I know, you know, companies be like companies be, um, but it still sucks because I felt like I kind of wasted that great interview on a job that I wasn't going to get again. Cause I'm, I'm very confident in thinking that it was an internal candidate that had to be hired for that position or got hired for that position. Um, but I also know that she put in a really good word for me with this, with this place in this, um, manager. And so I feel like I'm going to get this job, um, I'm just going to do at hopefully do as well as I did the last time. And also with the good word from the interviewer that I had Thursday, um, I believe that that'll do me justice, but yeah, I'll let you guys know more tomorrow, um, about how to have an interview tomorrow morning. Um, it's been a crazy weekend already. Um, I wanted to be kind of done with this. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know tomorrow how the interview goes, but I desperately need to, yeah, I desperately need to go. So I was really harping on like, this is an internal candidate that got the job, like conspiracy thing. Like, um, but I was, I was thinking that it was an internal candidate because 
Um, it would be one thing if like we set the interview on a Tuesday and then we had the interview on like a Saturday and in between that time, they'd actually hired somebody else. Like I could see that because that does happen and they'll just move forward with the interview with you knowing that they hired somebody, hoping that maybe you'll take another position or you'll be a good fit for a different property or a different location. But we set the interview up, but we scheduled the interview on a Wednesday. The interview was literally the next morning. So it hadn't even been 24 hours between when we scheduled the interview and when we had the interview. That's why, and because of like my, some things that I've, I've experienced with my current job, that's why I believe like somebody was like, hey, like, we need to take this internal candidate or like this person's really interested in moving up to the company and learning more. Let's give them this job. Like, cause that does happen. You, you like as a manager, sometimes people will come in above you and say, Hey, like we want this person for this role. And then you just, you, you, you do it. Right. And so that's kind of why I'm thinking it's an internal candidate. It could also be that they just hired somebody like a regular, like person outside of the company within that time. Um, but I definitely think somebody else had gotten that position and they knew that before they interviewed me. And I don't know, I feel kind of funny about that kind of stuff. Uh, it still worked out. You'll see later, it still worked out in my favor. Hey guys, so it is currently Sunday. Um, I am sitting at the TJ Maxx, as you can see, right over here somewhere. Uh, I'm about to go to TJ Maxx and Target, which I don't feel like bringing y'all with me because I feel like I didn't, I didn't, I've taken y'all to TJ Maxx and Target, so I don't feel like y'all want to go and do that. But, um, I feel like that would be boring. So I, I had my interview today and it went well. I think it went really well. Um, and I should be hearing, ooh, I'm dry. Um, I should be hearing back from um, the GM of the property I applied to. I'm gonna keep it a secret. Because part of me is like, what if I don't get it? <laughs> I'm already like getting really excited about it. Like I talked to my sister about it and she was like, we're, we're gonna believe like you already have it. It's yours. You got the job. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm trying to like just like believe like I have it. Like it's it's mine. Um, Cause I do feel like I've, I I'm gonna get this job. I really really do. But I'm keeping a secret until I know for sure. But I think things are gonna move kind of quickly. Um, and I let them know that I want to give my job two weeks notice. So I'm hoping that I can hear back, schedule an interview and know by the end of this week. I'm hoping so. Um, but yeah, I think that things are going to move pretty quickly and I'm going to have to start packing up because um, I think that they're going to be looking for me to get there on the first week of April. So. Exciting. But yeah, I'm kind of just like a little bit nervous because I'm going to start packing up stuff and shipping stuff home. Shipping stuff home, packing up stuff and selling stuff. I'm going to have to start moving because I got a lot going on in my room and I have to sort things out because I'm only gonna have so much room in my car. And I gotta start doing that now because I feel like procrastination is gonna seek in, uh, think in, and I'm gonna start like panicking. Like I don't do well with packing. Like I usually wait until the very last minute to pack. And then I get really nervous and really anxious to the point where I'm just like stressed. And I want, I don't want to do that again. This is exciting. I'm supposed to be excited. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens with that. But I think things are going to start moving pretty quickly, pretty soon here. Um, mm, baby kids. Okay. I'm mad I left my earbuds at home and I'm listening to an audiobook, and I can't listen to it when I shop. I'm sad. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see you guys later. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.